Hey, Fireheads. Hey, I got a download. Someone is considering Divine Feminine. Split the deck. Denial. Someone is in the mind frame. I wouldn't say considering, but just in the mind frame with introspection and Divine Feminine. Just in the mind frame of possibly walking away from your twin flame journey um or walking away is what i'm hearing from love you just feel like you've waited so long you've put in a lot of work um and you know it seems like love is just not divine feminine you keep coming out so we're just gonna take you out um trickery it seems like it's just the same thing every year um, concerning love and with this trickery here and this uh, protection. Yes, there has been someone doing trickery. Okay, that's what we're going to call it. We're going to give it another name. They have been doing trickery on your love life. But I'm here to talk about you not giving up. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here for you to detach from the outcome. To tell you to detach from the outcome of how you feel like it should be. Or, you know, you continuing to listen to different messages to get confirmation. But you just really need to start getting in contact with your higher self. And understand that the separation from your twin flame right now is only to balance you. It's to balance your shadow side, to balance the dark things in your life, to balance the nightmares in your life. For you and this person to get on a road of confidence, to get on a road of uh, success within yourself. Success within yourself is what I'm hearing. So... Let's see what this is about. Okay, that's the download of Bond Feminine. What is this about? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to thank you guys for your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. They really mean a lot to me. I want to thank my winners also for participating in my giveaway. Okay, so we got Divine Feminine, Influencers, and Soulmates. Soulmates, influencer, and divine feminine. So, like I said, you know, it's, there has to be other factors. Um, you have to realize that the reason for this separation, the reason why you have not been put in a position to be with your soulmate, to have the influence on them that you feel like you need to have, right? Right? And in order to be with them is because you still have to surrender to that. You have to detach. You have to surrender to detachment. That's really all it is. You need to realize that you need to surrender to detachment. Like what, what you feel like should happen. When you feel like it should happen, that's not what's going to happen, sweetie. You know, and it's time for you to become one with yourself. That's why this uh, uh, Divine Feminine Soulmate is here. You need to become one with you, one with your soul. You need to become your own soulmate. Yeah, you, you, you see, you, 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 not only does your mind need to align with your heart, but your heart needs to align with the things you speak out of your mouth just as well and all of those need to become mates with your soul your soul is um the your your the, your soul <laughs> your spirit your your mind your physical being your spirit and your soul you know so you need to become one with yourself that's exactly what i'm getting here you need to become one. You need to realize that you are first married to the Most High. You are first married from within. You have that physical union, even not physical, but you. <coughs> sorry, y'all. <coughs> you have a um, not a physical union, but you have 
this union within yourself. And yeah, so even though the physical union with someone else hasn't fully manifested, it first starts with you. You need to first be your own soulmate. And by being your own soulmate is in is be, waking up to influence the good in your life, waking up to influence the better man in your higher self. Every day setting the intentions to be to walk amongst who you who your soul is, you know, be hand in hand with this physical um being, your physical being, and your soul. Oh, higher self on the bottom of the deck. I ain't even know that. Ain't that something? Yeah, you need to be in contact with your higher self. Yep. And then that's when <clears throat> I'm here, and that's when you will um end separation from your twin. But don't give up because it's not coming in. The thing is, you need you, you haven't reached the, the level that you think you've reached. You think you've reached a higher um level um of soulful success but you haven't you haven't reached that level yet and i'm not coming down on anyone you know so i just wanted to let you know that but i am a messenger and i'm here to let you know that you need to push yourself a little more it's still more that you need to shine a light from within it's still more you need to shine a light on just as well so that you can continue to heal and grow and elevate and learn you know have clarity confession what i say what i say there's still more you need to shine a light on it's still things you need to come and come in contact with within yourself you need to look yourself in the mirror and say self self gonna say huh <laughs> uh you know just things about um how you love yourself and why why do you do the things you do reminiscing that's what popped out that's what popped out reminiscing why do you do as i was saying it why do you do the things you do going back um into childhood teenage years and early adult years and finding out this pattern that you have that that makes you want to be in a union so bad that you are actually neglecting your higher self because you want to be in a union with another instead of being in union with yourself understanding that the twin flame journey <clears throat> there it goes yeah understanding that the twin flame journey is is ninety percent about coming in union with self. <laughs> Period. Ninety percent of the twin flame journey is about coming in union with yourself. And then you remember, there's still this thing called free will. So you you may know that that's your twin flame, and they may know you're you're their twin flame. But it's still up to them, you know, to say, hey, I do want to, I want to um carry out what I signed up to carry out when I, you know, signed that dotted line. To come on this on, on this on this playing field. You know? Inner child is at the bottom of the deck. That's that's what you need to do. You need to become mates with yourself. You need to become a soulmate to yourself first. You know? Naughty. Why is naughty here? Yeah, you like making the choices that you make in, I mean, the choices you make in men are not always the most favorable choices. This protection, I'm going to leave it right there. The choices you make in men are not always the most favorable um, choices. It's like you don't know how to... I'm hearing color coordinate. And I'm seeing in my mind's eye the reason why color coordinate. You know how we as women, uh, we try to match like 
you know, have our makeup looking similar to our outfit, our shoes, our bag. However, when it comes to fashion, our nails, you know, the colors and the scheme of, of, of a color um, palette. So it's like, it's like that. It's like you would being who you are, you don't know how to choose the man that best fits you. So it's like, I feel like giving up on this twin flame journey. I'm never going to find my twin flame type of energy. I'm never going to find the person I'm supposed to be with. I'm never going to find my soulmate. So I'm, it's that type of energy is what I'm getting. But let's see what else we got here. Spiritual work at the bottom of the deck when I picked it up. Yeah, just get to know who you are. Just come be just fall in love with you. Become you. Become your look. Surrender is what popped out. What I tell y'all. We got protection and surrender over here in the corner. Yeah, it's just time for you to surrender to, um, like I said, surrender to detachment earlier. You need to surrender to detachment. You need to learn to uh, protect your emotions, protect your feelings, because that gets you messed up too. Thinking that everybody you're attracted to is a soulmate. And no, they're not. They just coming in to do what they want to do. That's why this choices and naughty is here also. Choices. Naughty. That's why that's here because. You. um You just you, you just have chosen uh, men thinking thinking because y'all vibe or y'all have some type of connection. That this possibly could be my soulmate or this could be my twin flame and it's not. And there, then there are some of you who actually know who your twin flame is. You know? But at this moment, you just need to detach too. If, if, whether you know who it is or not, you need to detach from the idea of how, what, when, where. Intuition is what trying to pop out. Yeah. And it's almost as if you know this. It's almost as if you know, like, it's something more you need to be doing for yourself versus always focusing on this journey. Is that all, Holy Spirit? Yeah. So, because what you're doing right now by having the wrong men and not coming in contact with who you are and still healing, still, still um, detaching from things around you, you know what I'm saying? Yes, you, you see what I'm trying to say? I hope so. I hope y'all are feeling what I'm saying. Divine masculine. Oh my God, I was about to put these down. Divine masculine. See, this is what I'm saying. So, this is for somebody who who knows who their twin um, may be. You know what I'm saying? Like, he coming back. He may not come back. He still has free will. You hear me? You need to detach from the outcome. You need to detach to from what you think, what you know, what you think might know what you think you don't know, you know, with introspection here and, you know, you need to be honest with honesty here. You need to be honest with yourself and take this leap of faith in and become one with yourself. Become, become, that's, that's what this twin flame journey is about. Becoming one with self. And that's who you need to be. Unconditional love 
here. You need to give unconditional love to yourself. The love that you're waiting to give to this divine masculine is not where it's at. You need to give the love to yourself, honey. Because you're holding on to a narrative. You're holding on to things that are stopping you from growing. And the more you're not growing, the less you're going to be with this divine masculine. You're not going to be with them. Negligence. You're not going to be with them. The, the road is still not going to be balanced. Negligence with balance is not going to be balanced. You're just going to be holding on to whatever you want to hold on to. We're just going to be honest. Okay? So. I guess that's it, Holy Spirit. Is that all, Holy Spirit? Some tarot. The star. The seven wands. Yeah, and it's okay to um still um have this hopeful wishing and this understanding that hey, uh this is what I want. You know, I want this type of relationship. This is who I know it is. That's fine. You know, we not if that's for you, it's protected. But but what you need to be doing right now is working on yourself. Working on the things that influence your life to be better, to be more um, productive. Working on the things that influences your mind to be more fluid, more open so that you can receive. Working on the things that um, it influences your heart just as well. Influences your heart, you know, so, so that the issues of life can flow from it so that you can be prosperous and grounded and and loving and like i said um there has been you know some bullshit done in the background we know that you know we're not gonna trip off that we know that but you know what to do so and this divine messing and y'all are out here mm -mm. y'all are out here as counterparts right Y'all out here <clears throat> as divine counterparts, for sure, right? But you just got to give yourself everything and anything that you want him to give you or that you want to give him with this Ace of Pentacles. You have to give yourself that. Yeah, you have to give yourself that. Give me something on this in, uh, soulmates. Oh, it's fair. Can I have a card on soulmates? Okay. And the more that you give yourself that, this this what everything I've been telling you to give yourself, the more you give it to yourself, listen. It's going to be a shift in this relationship. It's going to be a shift in this twin flame journey. You know, because you guys are out here as matches. You know, divine feminine. Y'all are out here as a match. For sure, sweetie. Let me show you. Y'all out here as a match. And he's going to walk into your life. He is, but you have to detach. That's all I'm telling you. You have to detach. You know, you... And I, I just feel like this is somebody who... I don't know. I just feel like this is somebody who knows who their twin is already. It's like you just you know who he is. This message is for you, for sure. But still take it how it resonates. Um, yeah, this the more you detach, the more you give yourself um and pour into God and allow God to pour into you and you become more of your higher self, more of your soul because you've merged, you've become a mate with your soul. You've let go of things that held you back. You've let go of all of these um, emotional rings. The, the, these are ties that you've created within yourself. You've let that go. And you now understand your choices of why. Why you hold on. Why you're codependent. Why it's not easy for you to detach from the twin flame. Um, King of Swords. 
Let me get another day. I'm not just, I don't know, lately I have not been feeling this deck, but I just, ugh, I don't know. Don't ask me no questions, y'all. Yeah. There's definitely about to be a shift in this relationship. But it has to be a shift within the relationship with yourself first. You have to be uh, practical enough with the two of cups. I told y'all I was going to get a new deck. With the two of cups, you have to be practical. Yep, with this soulmate, I asked for you gonna have to be practical. You have to be practical in order to bring in this connection, in order to bring in this union, to have the mutual attraction between you and this divine masculine that you desire. You have to learn to be practical, and being practical is first going within and, and detaching. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to say detaching because it just keep coming out. Detach, detach from the narrative of the twin flame journey is what I'm hearing. Detached from the narrative of the twin flame journey. And this is the message.